In this demo, I will show how to use a time series tool. I already have a table with a date time column open in a map. First, I want to add some base maps to give it some context here. So, the way you, you add a time series to the map is from the, the map tab and add to map, and here you specify time series. I select my table. I only have one date time column, but you can pick from a different uh, of configurations here. And then I pick my observed date time. And now it actually investigates the, the values in that column and, and says this is the extent you have, and it suggests that you use a one hour period. So you can always change this afterwards using the ribbon. Okay. And now you can see everything has gone for my map. And that's because you can see we added a layer filter here. So if I just double click my lightnings here, you can see that the layer filter here has been turned on. So now it's only showing the records that meet that condition that is specified here. Let's just cancel out this one again. And now I can zoom out and see the entire extent of this layer. You'll notice that there's actually only data down here around uh, the Netherlands. And that's because that's where the lightnings actually are coming from. Right? So let's just zoom a bit out to actually see the entire area that I'm looking for. It's mostly around Denmark, so let's zoom up here and set it to a nice zoom. And we're kind of happy with this zoom, right? Maybe move it a bit over here. So now we're ready to actually use the time series in Map Info. Remember that the the lightning layer here is using the uh, the layer filter here to control what elements is being showed, and you can then control that actually using the the controls in the on the time tab here. The first thing you might want to do is you might want to switch to a different time period. So maybe let's switch to a time in the afternoon. And here you can see that the lightnings are now actually on top of Denmark. You can use the controls here to actually move back and forth in time. And you can also see the map slider here is actually showing where you are in your time interval. You can also use this to actually switch to a different time. Just drag it. And if you want to, you can even extend your period to be a larger period than you actually are using currently. right? Let's go back to the early morning. You see the lightnings are coming down here. And you'll also notice it says some date time stamps up here. Let's make them a, a bit easier to read, right? So instead of having these 0529, let's switch to a full hour. So I'm going to snap my date time series here to a hourly. So now it says this is 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And again, you can use the forward thing here to play one step at a time or if you want to you can use the autoplay option here to let it update the map automatically as time goes by so now it's refreshing for each second let's just stop this again using the pause button so you can also control how often you want the map to be refreshed you can do that using the map options so here you can see that the speed currently is 1000 milliseconds. So you can change that to maybe two seconds, for instance. And you can see how are you representing the, the time formatting. So in this case, it's only showing the, the start of the period. And it's using this string. And down here, you can see how that actually looks. So you can choose between different strings if you wanted to, to have a different way to display your, your date time period. And if you wanted to export this up to a different format, you can use the export dialog here to control which folder you want to save it to. If you want to include the map time slider up here, and if you want to create a dynamic GIF or a video from the resulting images that you're exporting. The final thing I want to show you, you can also embed some more information in the map. So from the drop down here, add to map, you can insert, for instance, a a title. Let's just change the color here to this one. It's going to be embedded here in the middle. You can right click it and go to the properties. And maybe you say, I want it to be at the top left instead. And it will be moved out there. And this will also change as you as your time changes, right? So you can see it's actually changing here as I scroll through time. 
so that's a nice little feature that text will be included on your on the images you create using map info as well so i hope this gives you an, a very short introduction to the time series tool that we have added to map info pro version 2021